Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. So you guys have been loving my typo mystery box unboxings and you guys have loved them so much that today I decided to unbox another one. Yay! They've actually updated the website and there are so many more mystery box like categories to choose from and I just couldn't decide which box to pick so I went over to my Instagram story and asked you guys which of these two mystery boxes you wanted to see me open and from the polls results you guys wanted to see me unbox the games and gadgets mystery box which I am so excited about. I love games and gadgets and all sorts of things like that so I'm so so excited. I have no idea what to expect from this mystery box. I don't know what typo sells that's like games and gadget related. If you guys have seen my other two Typo Mystery Box unboxings, I've realized while opening them that a lot of the items in the boxes are usually from the sales section. So I'm excited to see if that's the case with this one. But anyway, I'm just so excited. So let's get to unboxing. So here is the mystery box. This one seems to be a little bit smaller than the usual. And I think there's eight items in here, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's just open it up. I can't open it. <laughs> Yay! So I'm just gonna go ahead and reach my hand in and just pull something out and we'll see what it is. I am so excited. I just have no idea what to expect and what's gonna be in here, so that's why I'm so excited. So the first thing is... Ooh! What is <laughs> This is really cute! Like, it's cute! It's a bubble sticker pack. They're all like seashell related and it says the world is your oyster. Oh, they're so cute and I'm such a big fan of stickers. But my initial thought is this isn't really a game or a gadget or am I wrong? It's basically just a pack of how many stickers are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stickers and they're super shiny. I really like them. They're cute, but I wouldn't call this a game or a gadget. Oh, I forgot to mention that this box in total was 15 pounds. So we just need to get like 15 pounds worth of items to make back our money, I suppose. This first item is two pounds originally. I don't know if this was a sale item thing or not. I'm not sure. It's cute. I don't really know what I'll use it for. It'll definitely come in handy somewhere because they're so, so cute. The next item is... I actually have a giant one of these, but I think it was a cheap one. It wasn't very good quality. It is a micro light box. These were super trendy like a few years ago, but they're still so, so cute. I am such a big fan of room decor and stuff like that. So this is definitely, definitely gonna go up in my room somewhere. The only thing with these is that I forget to change what's like in the box. So it ends up saying the same thing for ages because I never know what to do with all the letters. Oh, it is so cute. So it's just this little light box and it comes with a ton of little letters. I don't know if it comes with like any symbols or anything. I'll have to open it to find out. But you basically just slide these letters into these columns and then it's so cute. You can just like write little quotes or I don't know, your YouTube art or something. It's so cute. I'm so happy I got this. This is six pounds to buy from the website. So I don't think that's too bad anyway. But I think this is so cute and I am definitely going to use this. Just going to get rid of this. So next up I've got... What is this? It says the ultimate sports packet trivia. On the back it says how much do you really know about sports? Put your knowledge to the test with these trivia questions. That's so cute. I am a huge fan of card games and board games. I just ah, I just love them so much. So adding something to my collection is making me so excited right now. I am not a huge sports person. I love playing sports. I love watching, especially the Olympics. But when it comes to names and stuff like that, I'm rubbish. I think this is cute. I feel like this is the perfect thing to receive in a gadgets and games box. Uh, once again, I don't know if I'm going to play this, but I might. I don't know if I have many friends that are into sports in general. So I don't know, but I'm really happy with this. I think it's cute and definitely an exciting thing to receive in the box. I think this is item number four that I'm pulling out here. <gasps> <laughs> I am so excited about 
this. I've literally been looking at this on the website for a while now. I'm pretty sure this was in the sale section, but I've been so, so tempted to buy it and I'm so, so excited that I got it. It is a Monstera Leaf mobile phone grip. So it's like a pop socket. It has a slightly different design. Can't really explain it, but it has like little, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a slightly different design to a pop socket. It is much, much bigger than a pop socket actually. But it is so cute! I used to swear by pop sockets, but I haven't had one on my phone in so long now. But as soon as I start using one again, I'll find it difficult to live without one. <laughs> this is supposed to be £6 once again. I'm pretty sure I saw this in the sales section for about £2, but I'm not 100% sure. But it is so cute. I've never seen one with this like style and design, so I don't know if I'm gonna like, like the grip of it and stuff like that. But overall, this is my favourite thing so far. I'm so excited about it. I would definitely consider this a gadget so that's awesome and ee, I just love it I'm so happy with it <laughs> the next thing in the mystery box is a Rubik's Cube! No! And it's a pastel one! I am so excited! Oh my goodness! This is the cutest thing! I feel like Rubik's Cubes are so expensive in general. It says here that this one's supposed to be £12. It is like a typo edition, so it says Rubik's and then it's got typo underneath. I have never ever owned a Rubik's Cube before. I've had like the little mini ones that you get in a Christmas cracker. I am so excited about this and the the fact that it's pastel, all the sides are like pink and purple and we've got a turquoise side. This might be the cutest and coolest thing I've received in one of my typo mystery boxes so far. I can't even explain how excited I am about this. I don't think I'm gonna be a whiz at this. I don't think I'm gonna be very good at solving the Rubik's Cube, but in general, I am just so excited. I'll give it a go. I might even find some time to try and learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. This is my favorite thing. <laughs> and uh, anyway, let's move on to the next item. I could talk about this for ages. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to unbox it. I think I have three more items left. So I'm gonna start with, I saw a little small thing, so I'm gonna start with that. Aww, it's a little smiley face keyring. Oh my goodness, I feel like this mystery box knows me too well. <laughs> ah, I love it so much. It feels like it's made of leather, but I think it's like a faux leather. And it has just a little regular keyring hook and like a little, like a carabino. This is supposed to be £3.50 and it's just a simple smiley face keyring. I used to collect keyrings. I'm just so excited about this. I don't currently collect keyrings, but every time I get a keyring or have the opportunity to put a new keyring on something, I get so excited. I'm probably going to put this like on my bag or on my house keys or something. But it's super simple, it is what it is, but I just love it so much. And we're down to the last two items. I feel like this video has been really short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And I feel like these are just super informative. When I was looking at getting these type of mystery boxes for myself the first time, I literally went on YouTube and I was like, type of mystery boxes, are they any good? What's inside? So hopefully if you're just looking to get a type of mystery box, this has inspired you to order one or thought, nah, I'm not gonna get one this time. But anyway, let's take a look at the last second to last item. I just feel like this box knows me a little too well. This is a hands-off phone stand. This is amazing. I have a ton of like things to hold my phone for filming but one of my things that I swear by is literally a roll of tape and I stick my phone in the roll of tape as a st and I use it as a stand. Anyway I feel like this isn't made for filming necessarily but if you're filming on front camera and you stand your phone in this I feel like that could work really really well for filming your face for like TikToks or you know short videos. <laughs> I'm just gonna open it up and take a look at it and see Whoa, it flew out. <laughs> Ooh, <gasps> wow. You can like turn it in any direction. That is amazing. I feel like I'm gonna use this all the time. This is my favorite box so far. Everything inside has been pretty useful or fun. Ah! I'm so excited about this. Anyway, this is supposed to be six pounds, which I think is quite pricey again. But that is so cool. I am definitely gonna get use out of this. I'll let you know on my Instagram story if I end up using it for my videos and stuff and if it's worth it because I feel like it's gonna be so useful. How amazing is that? And we're already onto the last item. This is a really big item. I haven't really had a look at it yet. Um, What is it? <gasps> No! That's 
it's amazing it's a thousand piece puzzle and it's like a painting it's beautiful i actually can't believe this mystery box it's like for me i feel like everything is like for me that's crazy well anyway it is a thousand piece puzzle and the design is like a bunch of flowers that look like they've been painted. I don't regularly do puzzles, but when I've got free time, I really, really enjoy doing puzzles. I've never actually owned a puzzle of my own. When I was a kid, I didn't really have puzzles. I've only recently got into puzzles, so I'm so excited about this. And it's so cute that this box comes with a handle, so it's kind of like you can take it anywhere with you. You could take it camping or whatever. I'm not gonna open it up right now because I feel like the puzzle pieces are gonna go everywhere. But anyway, this is supposed to be 12 pounds, which I don't think is too expensive for a thousand piece puzzle. The puzzle we did at Christmas time, I think was a thousand piece and it was really, really difficult. And with the colors being so similar, I feel like this will be difficult too, but I'm so excited to give it a try. I am just overall so, so, so happy with this mystery box. Everything inside has made me so happy. I just keep looking at everything and thinking, wow. I can't believe these are mine. I honestly can't pick a favorite thing. Like everything is so cute. I'm gonna have to say that the le my least favorite thing is the sports pack because I just don't think I'm gonna really play this, but I might do. And my favorite thing is probably the Rubik's Cube. But overall, I'm just so happy with everything inside this mystery box. Um, I would definitely recommend this box out of the three that I've tried so far. Everything inside was so, so fun. But anyway, let me know which of these items was your favorite down in the comment section below. I find it really difficult to pick because I love the puzzle and I also love the Rubik's Cube and I love the pop socket. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. If you guys would like to see me do another mystery box unboxing from Typo, or somewhere else let me know down in the comment section below let me know which box you'd like to see be open there are so many different ones to choose from if you guys are new here make sure to like and subscribe because it really really helps me out and i will see you all next friday at five bye